These are the four polishes I got in this month's subscription box. Uh, we've got black ombre, 50%. It's just a black, as you can see. We got Bruja. I'm probably saying that word wrong. I apologise. It's a red with a very fine shimmering. We've got a Sanctuary, which is a dark green. And then we got Full Moon, which is a cat eye. So what we are going to do for the first coat on these nails here, we're going to be painting these two with the black ombre. We're going to be painting this one the red, this one the green, and then this one we are going to be painting a dark purple, which I am going to custom make up now because I don't actually own a dark purple. So believe it or not, when making a purple, it's actually better to use a pink than a red because normally people are, you mix red and blue and you get purple, but pink and blue actually make a nicer purple. So we've got pink. blue and we want to make it dark so obviously we have to add a little bit of black and then we are just going to give that a mix obviously with the black you want to add a little bit at a time and add more as you need it because once you've added it, you can't really take it away again. So that's still a little bit too light. That's looking like a very nice purple. Let me just clean my brush off. So let's get our black. Now this is a black ombre. No, that's the green, not the black. Um, which means it is partially translucent, so it will require um, two coats, which is fine because I'll want to put two coats on all of them. red green and the purple we will be wanting to do a second coat on them I'm just gonna put them into cook and I will be back okay so here we go now just on these two here we are going to be applying the cat sign uh, in the kit it did send me this tiny little magnet here and when it comes to cat sign I really have no idea what I'm doing so we are just going to go for it Here we are, they're all done with their second coat on. Um, as you can see, you can see that cat eye effect there. Um, I think they're looking really good. So now we're on to the decoration stage. Now I have sorted them out what I'm going to do. Um, 
and the this charm, the chain, um, the roses came with the kit with the polishes along with this little laminated sheet here which is what I used to make the girly and the ghost. Um, the skeleton hand I already had here and this chain was twice as long so I cut it in half and I attached it to the skeleton hand so it looked like the hand was holding a bunch of chain like you see in the horror movies which I think looks quite cool so we're gonna get on to doing these now I don't know how you meant to attach these to the nail um, so I am just going to use nail glue or aka super glue um, and we will see how we go from there. I'm just curving it a little bit like this so it will fit to the nail a bit better. <music> stuff over. So if we get these back we now have to attach the roses to her hair. Let's find something and just put it on this little bead thing here. So we pick up some nail glue and attach it where we would like to put said roses. Preferably without knocking them off like that. Like so, and she's got some pretty roses in her hair. Now, I did shove this ghost on the wrong finger, so um, yeah, we're going to have the little ghosty on this one instead, and we're going to put the roses on this one, that's okay. So, I'm going to put some glue here. On the green it now. Spread it. And then I've got these three roses. They were individual, but I glued them together to put them in a line. I've got things sticking to me. And obviously you've got to be quick enough with the glue to stick it down before it actually dries. Now that, that would be helpful. Like so. And we've got some pretty roses on the green one. I've got glue all over me. Now for the purple one we are going to stick the hand. Now, I am wanting to stick the chain down as well, but I think first things first, we will work on the hand.
got to stick it to the nail without it sticking to me. Now this one we're going to be doing the locket, this pretty little locket and this chain and I want this chain to look like it's part of a necklace, here we go, so it looks like the chain is attached to the charm like a necklace. And that is the finished set so what we are going to do is we are just going to uh, give all this a top coat because of the stencils and I'll be back and here we go here is the finished set I my camera wants to focus I think it looks really really cool and I really like the cat's eye effect even though I've never used cat's eye before it looks very very cool and this is the design that I came up with from the Gelbox UK monthly subscription box let me know what you think in the comments down below and I'll see you all in the next video guys bye